Hey, what's going on guys? It's Michael Bowden here, back again with Leftside91, and bringing to you our new series, TV91, where we go over all of our original product in depth, in detail, some backstory about it, how it came about, and what inspired it to be designed, what inspired us to, to design that particular product. So we hope you guys enjoy this new series that we're trying out here with Leftside91 and our brand, and yeah. So a little bit about myself. Yeah, I'm a kid, I'm from the Toonami era. If you missed a rerun, that was it. In my household, we didn't have TiVo. There was no, oh, let me just hop on the internet and pirate the website. Toonami and Adult Swim, my peanut butter jelly, baby. That's the era I'm from, early 2000s, PS2. I would say that was the era of creativity. And I, I even remember when we would have to go to the library to rent out anime DVDs and stuff like that. Like, the, like there was no Crunchyroll. So this is a huge part of my life. You know, it, it, it's embedded in me, Dragon Ball, and Yu Yu Hakusho, all these awesome great Toonami shows. And Toonami bumps and uh, Toonami promos. Man, that's, that's my shit. So that's the catalyst and the inspiration for the birth of Left Side 91. Enter Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. I grew up off of both of them, favorite TV series. Care, it was the best thing on TV, even if I saw a particular episode a million times. Shout out to Yamcha, him getting blown up a million times by the Cybermen. I mean, cause there ain't nothing, nothing else was on. Price is right, days of our lives. Like that's the type of, that's the type of shit that, you know, our, you know, our parents and grandparents would make us watch. So when that came on, even if it was a rerun, it was the best shit. And watching Dragon Ball, I always was like, man, I want to wear these damn clothes. Goku's original boots. I want to, I want to wear those. When I was a child, I wanted to be a martial artist. So th this dude was my damn hero. It, it was like watching me on TV, J but just the way I would imagine myself, you know, just through Goku. So, and I'm, I know I'm not the only one who's felt this way growing up throughout their life. Now into adulthood, you have Dragon Ball Super, and that comes out years later, and he comes out with a new karate gi, including boots. E even by the time Dragon Ball Super came out, no one was taking anime fashion, let alone Dragon Ball, because uh, you have your cosplay, but no one was taking anime fashion truly seriously. You have your occasional anime hoodie here and there, or uh, some chucks with a anime character uh, painted on there, or printed on there, but not the actual shoe. Or you would just have like a cosplay prop, but that's, you know, that that's not being marketed as, say, a Nike or Adidas shoe. The wheels started turning, the gears started turning. Why isn't this being taken seriously? Especially those, especially those shoes from 2015 Goku, from Resurrection F, that was the first Dragon Ball uh, super movie we got. Why is no one taking this serious? Why isn't there anything out? I started getting business minded slowly but surely. Uh, of course I had no idea how to go about it manufacturing, how to go about a design, how to uh, do any of that stuff one step at a time. And okay, I wanna get in the shoes. Okay, what kind of shoes? It can't just be normal shoes. Uh, I wanna do anime, but I don't wanna go the route of what I've previously seen, like I told you, those, those types of chucks those air painted chucks, airbrushed chuck um, with an anime character on it. Don't wanna go that route. I felt uh, that not, was it that, not so much that it was uncreative, but more so just, you know, I feel like it's an easy way out. And seeing that, seeing the result of it, it just wasn't a big thing. I, I just feel it wasn't as big as it could be. How can I mesh something as marketable as an Adidas or Nike shoe on that level, but with anime and it be taken seriously? Before Adidas had teamed with Dragon Ball or some of the brands that you see now that is doing Dragon Ball projects with shoes. This did not exist. I got up, went to Walmart, got a pen and a pad sketch, and I don't even know how to draw. I'm left-handed. I did the best I could to draw the shoe, how I want the shoe to come out. And the, the, the first drawing, man, I posted it on my Facebook, let my friends see it. Friends, man, they clown my ass, man. I took the criticism pretty well, man. I was like, okay, all right, all right, all right. They wasn't feeling it. Go back to the drawing board. Let's take this a little more serious. And I had a good friend of mine reach out to me and say, hey, you know, my girl, she's a great digital artist and she could take your drawing and reimagine it 
with her professional skills, but it's still your design, so you know you will get credit. And I'm like, well, well, shit, yeah, let's do that. I mean, I, I don't know why, you know, I never thought to reach out to a Better Talent, but I was just on some, you know, do it myself shit. That happened, and the shoe came out dope. That's what helped the uh, the original concept of the original sample. And the original sample took some inspiration from the Kanye West, the Yeezy uh, 750 boost where it had some suede on it and it was kind of like a, kind of like a uggish type of shoe, kind of like a high top suede. Uh, so I was like, whoa, that's a perfect mix. If so, if this Goku shoe has that material with two straps, because um, the Yeezy had one, so that kind of like, hey, well, we could just make it Goku with two straps and it looks more like the Goku shoe with two straps and then boom, we have the perfect mix between streetwear and anime, but without it looking too lazy or uh, too nerdy or too, you know, it, it looks just right. So even if someone doesn't necessarily know what Dragon Ball is, it would still pique someone's curiosity, even if they're not familiar with that particular Goku shoe from Dragon Ball Super. Uh, trial and error, and the shoe became a, became a success. That's how we got here today off of that one original product. Goku Transcend 91 is the name of the shoe, and here we are today. Here we've got the original Goku Transcend 91 shoe, man. This is the original model, the original prototype. I owe everything to this thing. It ain't much today, but this is a testament to hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. I remember, man, for this sample, this sample was not cheap, dude. Like, I was with a, I was with a different factory at this time, but the, you know, this fact, this, this, this sample wasn't cheap, but I would say it was well worth it because it, it laid the groundwork. I mean, I was so proud. I wore this out to the ground. As you can see, even the, 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 the positioning of the straps was kind of off. Yeah, this thing's a piece of history that, left side 91 history that I'm very proud of. And I, I could never let go. Early 2016, this this bad boy was made. It was conceived with, just like my favorite character from One Piece, Blackbeard. Quote: A man's dream will never die. I believe that to this day. Uh, this is living proof. So yeah, these need to be hung up. <laughs> and here's the new bad boy. See, I found it. This is when I got everything together. This was towards the end of 2016. After so much trial and error. I finally got it right, found a new factory uh, uh, to help me make it better. They structured the straps a lot better, more functional. Just they, they really killed it on this one and that's when I was able to market it properly and really kick ass and take names. And I just love the way that these actually came out. Um, for some of you watching, you own a pair. These are, I mean, night and day, uh, as you can see. So, testament to all the hard work we put in here at Left Side 91. And I just want to thank every last one of you who owns a pair or owns anything from Left Side 91. To bring this video to the end, I please ask you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe. It's very important because we're going to be doing mailbag questions. So any questions you have, please, in the comments, ask. We'll be more than happy to answer them. We're going to answer them in a compilation as a mailbag. That's what we plan on doing. Please make sure to keep up with all of our, all of our social media, Instagram, our left side 91, Facebook, Twitter. Please make sure to keep up with our social media, link down below in the description. We're also gonna be doing giveaways, so be on the lookout for that. If you have any other just questions, any kind of questions, we are, shoot us an email, shoot us a DM on any one of our social media platforms. We really appreciate you guys uh, for tuning in, and we really hope you like our new TV91 series. We've got a lot of more dope, kick-ass content in the future, so stay tuned, y'all. Much love. Peace.